Hey, a pleasant day, everybody. This is Sports for Nine News. I'm Joe Borick, and there's a lot of key takeaways. Another great day by Pat Nagel in net for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Connor Bunneman stays hot as hell, and so does Maxime Shusko and Charlie Gerard, who seems to just kind of get the bad puck luck. Uh, for also my Reading Royals fans, he's kind of the Jackson Cressy of the Phantoms, where like he's been playing pretty damn well, but just hasn't got the puck luck to show it. He did yesterday, though, because that was a pass in front to Susko for a shot, and then it fluttered off his stick by a solid defensive play by Hershey, ended up going to Charlie Girard, who was in a perfect spot in front of the net, and he's able to get his goal, and then my golly, by golly, whatever you want to say, Connor Bunneman is on fire right now. Since coming back down, Connor Bunneman is on a different level. Um, he has a three-game goal streak and has been robbed uh, multiple times as well. So that could be even more goals um, for Bunny as well. Plays a very good defensive game, very good face-off game. I feel like this dude, I wrote about it in Nitty Gritty if you want to go check out that article, has a chance. Yes, he hasn't shown it fully yet, but Nate Thompson was trashed and beat down early on in his career because of the way that he didn't play the sexiest style, but did little things right and then showed that but never really showed that. Like, you never saw Nate Thompson even do that. What Bunny was able to do with that silky move, like Tony Androkis said, Crosby-like move. But, like, I feel like he can be that type of fourth-line center. A guy you don't really necessarily think is going to play much up from that in the NHL level. But if you just get a solid Nate Thompson earlier in his career type center that wins face-off, uses the body even more so with the Bunny being bigger, um, uses the body well, and also has a little bit more silkier hands and Mitch... Uh, than Thompson. That's a very solid player to have, and I still think Bunneman has a chance to be a part of this team, but it also depends on how the direction the team wants going forward, where obviously it looks like, yo, which rightfully shown that he's NHL, you want to have more speed, but you can still have somebody like Bunneman mixed in, but I feel like a guy like Bunneman being mixed into the lineup is a time when JVR will no longer be in Philly, because you then wouldn't have two slower guys that are where are in your lineup, basically, where I think Bunneman plays a much better 200-foot game than JVR, but you don't want to have two bigger guys that want the quickest skaters in today's league necessarily in your lineup, so I understand the logic. But the Lehigh Valley Phantoms were great yesterday. I mean, the stars of the game were, again, Shusko playing great again. Connor Bunneman extending his streak. Uh, Shusko has three goals in the last five, um, according to the great Bob Rochuk. And then also Pat Nagel. I mean, Pat Nagel stepped up again. Uh, he had another very good game for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. And I think he might have to go again tonight because Kirill, um was not eligible yesterday. And then Sandstrom's still dealing with the illness day-to-day. -day, so depending on how he feels, it might have to be another back-to-back -back for Patty Nagel up there in Hershey. But Pat Nagel only let in one goal. It was a very good goal. Um, for the Hershey Bears, there wasn't much he could do about that goal, in my opinion. And he was solid and sharp again, earning him a star of the game, rightfully so. Pat Nagel definitely gets a star where Dem Demosky's goal, um, t how the heck is he going to say that? He's open in front of the net, does the nice backhanded move, and it gets in. So Nagel, I would say, would be the second star of this game. Shusko would be the third star, and then you would have Connor Bunneman for getting the game ceiling goal to kind of put it away when he had that razzle-dazzle move. Connor Bunneman would be the first star of this game with Charlie Girard for getting his first goal after having bad puck luck all season, definitely being a great honorable mention. But this has been the key takeaways and the reaction to a great 2-1 to -one win. Yes, they were a little shorthanded, but you got to take advantage of teams, and the Phantoms are still shorthanded as hell, too, with all the injuries they have. So they took advantage of of the Bears when they were shorthanded as well, and that was a great win for the Lehigh Valley Phantom, as now they try to beat the same Hershey Bears this evening for the last game before the holiday break when they come back and play the Cleveland Monsters next week on the 29th. So stay safe out there, everybody. I'll be doing a preview to tonight's game in the next couple of hours. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Peace out, everyone.